But uh, so in more in more local North Carolina news, Montgomery County Sheriff Rockingham child killed in apparent accidental shooting. So this is coming from November twelfth from yourdailyjournal.com. Candor. An 11-year-old child from Rockingham died from a gunshot wound sustained following an apparently accidental firearm discharge while visiting a friend in Candor Wednesday. Um, Montgomery County emergency personnel received a call at approximately 2.30 a.m. that a child had been accidentally shot at a residence in Bell Acres community of Candor, according to the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. The child, whose name has not been released, was pronounced dead at the scene. The child was staying with a friend whose family used to live in the same Rockingham neighborhood. According to the Montgomery County Sheriff Chris Watkins, investigators learned that there were six children in the home at the time of the incident and were left unsupervised while the mother was at work. Watkins said in a statement the gun involved was in the home and had been left unsecure and was obtained by children. No criminal charges have been filed in the incident and Watkins did not comment on whether uh, he expected any in the future. The investigation into how the shooting occurred and into the facts surrounding the unsecured weapon is ongoing. And the Office of Chief Medical Examiner is conducting an autopsy. This is a tragic and sad event for all parties and is a profound reminder of the necessity to secure weapons in a home occupied by children as well as to properly supervise children, Watkins said. So, right... Now, the, North Carolina is a very gun-friendly state. Um, the South, in general, is a relatively gun-friendly state. Um, gun purchases have been skyrocketing throughout the last um, six months. I wonder why. Twelve months, even. Um, and one of the things... Now, again, I, I am in favor of weapons, but if you're going to own weapons, you need to be responsible with that shit. And uh, I think the idea that you're going to have six children left home. Now, who knows how old they are? They say children and not teenagers. So we're assuming that they're under the age of 13 or 12 or hell, even younger, potentially. You could have a situation where an 11-year-old is babysitting seven-year-olds or eight-year-olds. Who knows? There's not that many details from the situation. But the idea that you're going to have six children in your home, unsupervised, with loaded firearms just kind of sitting on the table or something... But if you are a parent and you don't properly take precautions to secure firearms, you should not be a parent. I'm sorry. You just shouldn't. You should not be allowed to have children under your supervision in any sense of the word. Now, on a broader societal analysis, why are children being left unsupervised? Why are children allowed, six children allowed to be unsupervised? Why don't we have universal child care in this country? Think about that on a societal level. If we just had something like universal child care, this would never have happened. Um, but at the same time, again, there needs to be an onus of responsibility on the parent for just leaving a loaded firearm in front of a bunch of children having a party. You see all of these people, especially kids that are born and raised in a society where violence is not even normal or standardized, but it's encouraged. You look at cartoons, violence, everything is violent in cartoons. You look at television, everything is violent. You look at the news, everything is violent. So when you pl look at video games, everything is violent. So when kids see guns... They don't understand. They like Kids barely understand the concept of what life is. Kids, for the most part, are fucking on autopilot. You're basically not even a real person until you're like 15 or 16. And that's like, you know, like that's, that's a compromise position. Like you're probably not even a real person until you're in your 20s, right? So especially when you're like under the age of 12 or 13, your brain is not developed. You are not a real person. You are just kind of like an animal, like a, like it's just like on autopilot. You don't understand. You don't understand that people can die. You don't understand the concept of death. You don't understand the concept of weapons. You just don't. And so the idea of kids being able to shoot each other for fun, I don't know what the fuck, dude. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But again, 
The idea that there are kids left unsupervised, that's also ridiculous. What the fuck is going on in our country where we've got six kids being left in like an apartment by themselves? I don't know, man. Our country is falling apart and uh, almost in every way possible. Almost in like every kind of like small little tidbit that you can think of. Yep, our country's fucking around. It sucks. Damn. The problem becomes how do we ensure people are properly locking up firearms in their homes without inspections? I'm all for it, but people are going to complain about their privacy. Uh, I don't think re inspections are necessary. I would say in order to own a firearm, you should go through mandatory uh, safety training. I think you should not be allowed to purchase a firearm without going through mandatory safety training. Um, I also don't think people should be allowed to own a firearm until they're capable of displaying that they know how to use it. Now, I'm skeptical of a government infringing people's rights under the auspices of you need to be like a certain skill level. I'm skeptical of that. But at the same time, I'm also skeptical of situations like this. Which is why I propose different solutions. You shouldn't have kids being alone. Universal child care? That's a solution that we can do right now that has no infringement of gun rights in any capacity. Right-wingers aren't going to freak the fuck out about people coming to take their guns if you advocate for universal child care to prevent things like this from happening. Because this isn't the first story that I've heard of kids playing with guns and shooting themselves or their friends. And imagine being the kids, the other five kids that are in that room seeing their friend accidentally shoot themselves or being another kid that accidentally shoots your friend. Imagine growing up with that trauma. Imagine you're 10 years old and you accidentally kill your friend because you don't know what guns are and you think it's a toy. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Universal child care. I mean, that that's a pretty plain and simple solution to stuff like this that does not impact firearms that does not you know necessitate crazy people having to capitulate in any capacity now again i do think in order to own firearms especially if you have children i would say like maybe if if like if you don't have children maybe you can have a little bit more lax requirements on this kind of stuff but if you have children you should definitely have mandatory safety training mandatory like you know understanding of how to lock things up you should know all this stuff if you're gonna have children um and uh i don't know our society sucks guns in general are terrible i wish we could just not have guns if guns were never invented if weapons like guns were never invented and we were still using slingshots and spears the world would be a much better place